Hey everybody, it's Steve, a thousand year home. So welcome aboard. So this poor little UTV of mine, I have used it and used it and used it and it needs a scrubbing. Look at this thing. Now I'm on a uh, waterless off-grid uh, ranch here, dry cabin. So I'm gonna, I loaded it up <laughs> and I'm gonna take it to town and uh, give it a good scrubbing. Looky there, you know what? You'll always know when you find some more trash right after you try tie the trash bag. <laughs> so all that trash came out of the back of there and whatnot. So uh, let me go give that a scrub. And the reason why I'm scrubbing it is I want to go ahead and do the maintenance on it. Uh, I see I've got a CV joint there that's leaking. That's worrying me a little bit. So, uh, but I want to get in there and do the the scrubbing. Up having it up high like this to my advantage, I'll be able to wash the engine. Uh, pretty much right here so but uh, let's get that done and uh, get this cleaned up so I can get maintenance on it all right well about half the time these are broken but if they're open right now that makes me feel pretty good go get some change I think it will be a little while I'm gonna get a 20 out of here Well, I learned a long time ago, make sure you got this on stop when you start feeding it in. That could jump out of there and beat the dog out of you. All right, I don't know. Let's put whatever I got in my hand right now. Let's start there. I think I'll start with wash soap is what I'll start with. I won't need the foaming brush. No wax, no spot free. Mm. Alright, that's half my money.
Well, I did a pretty good scrubbing. I just used soap. I never got to the rinse thing. So 20, 25 minutes of power washing. Let's see, I washed the CV joints so I can inspect them. I watched all, all of the uh, differentials and the, the oil fillers so I can get to them. Power washed the hinges because they're all sticking, including the uh, tailgate lift as well as the tailgate. So the dump bed wasn't working right. I'll lubricate all that. Turn this back into white. You know, it was uh, pine sap that dropped on it, so it was kind of a yellowish. That looks good. The stude among you who are watching me will notice that I, I washed the bed of the trailer, and that's because I'm going to leave this on the trailer uh, while I work on it because I don't want to lay in the dirt. In, in addition, I got a lot of fire ants, so I'm hoping being up off the ground <laughs> will keep me from getting stung. There's a lot of things I haven't done yet. I haven't checked the radiator. I haven't checked the oil level. Uh, I'll check the clutch, see if it needs to be tightened. But uh, now that it's clean, uh, you know, things are a lot easier in my life. I've got a, uh, looks just as much as many quarters as I had. So probably $10 worth of quarters. Let it dry before I stick a key in it since I was blowing all over the engine. I, don't wanna, I want the parts to dry. Alright, now it looks like I can touch those CV joints and uh, inspect them. That one was leaking. I, I suspect it might be in trouble. In addition, my brakes don't really break, so I need to take a look at it. It'll coast to a stop. If you remember, this was all mud. Uh, again, I didn't hit it with a brush or anything. This was all mud. I had mud on the roofs. I had mud on the seat belts. I had mud on the seats. The seats weren't white either. <laughs> they were they were stained with that tree sap. I don't know if that tree sap's from me or from when I bought it. Okay, so now the engine's clean. That muffler was brown when I started with mud. As well as everything else so I'll be able to work on that. I'm wondering if I could pull a little plow with this thing. Maybe, right? The CV joints there look clean. I did not see any leftover mud. I think I've got it all. Now, maybe right back in there I see a little on the gas filler but it's not worth two dollars more. Then I washed the bed of the trailer so that I can work on it without getting uh, you know, filthy and in the ground. I'm a shade tree mechanic. I don't have a garage yet out on a ranch property. All right, real good. All right, phase two will be uh, doing all, you know, air cleaner, oil filter, all the good stuff on this thing. All right, like, subscribe, follow me along. Bye.